Well, if you've been to the fuel pump these days, you probably noticed that just about every gas station sells gasoline with ethanol in it. The gasoline in this graduated cylinder is supposed to have 10% ethanol. To ensure a fair test, we're going to make sure that this does indeed have 10% and that this is indeed ethanol free. So it's been about 15 minutes since I added the water to the gasoline and it's had a chance to settle out. Fortunately, the gasoline I bought that's not supposed to have any ethanol in it doesn't. I added 2 mLs of water to the non-ethanol gasoline and the line is right on 2 mLs. There is one downside to removing the ethanol from the gasoline and that is it will likely reduce the octane level of the gasoline once the ethanol is out of it since ethanol is used to raise the octane of gasoline. So to measure fuel efficiency, I purchased a new generator that uses electronic fuel injection. I've already used the generator for several hours for proper break-in process. So when it comes to the topic of ethanol and gasoline, there's a lot of strong opinions. When it comes to small engines, I think there's almost a consensus that there's a problem with it. Now regarding carbon deposits, I didn't see much of a difference. Some claim that ethanol-based fuels help prevent carbon buildup, but that wasn't what we saw today. But it was a short-term test. 